The annual FinTech Festival returns next Monday, and the theme this year is Web 3.0. For those who might not be familiar with the term, Web 3.0 is a new generation of internet services that use technology like blockchain to interpret and analyze your searches so that you get more customized results. The week-long festival will explore how that might impact the financial sector. And for more, we're joined by Sopnandu Mahanti, Chief of Fintech Officer of the Monetary Authority of Singapore. Thank you very much for joining us. Can you explain the significance of Web 3.0 and why the focus at Fintech Fest this year? Thanks for having me. And uh, so exciting topic, exciting time. You know, one thing we focus in Singapore Fintech Festival is either a real economy issue or we look at the future. And I think the future is, has come through the Web 3.0. You rightly sp spoke about it. That is all, all about faster website, better use of data, machine intelligence. So it's, all these are coming together is at a very interesting time. And there'll be a major shift of financial sector riding on this new infrastructure, coming with new services, better product, much more uh, wider set of product, better customer experience, and hence a, a much better outcome. And what can be done to help our local fintech SMEs and individuals prepare for Web 3.0? And how do we measure up against our regional counterparts? Very good question. I think big part of Web 3.0 is all about helping small businesses. One of the biggest challenges small businesses have is lack of good data and also the cost of doing digital business. Web 3.0 brings high quality data because of the semantic web structure, also brings uh, lower the cost of, uh, of going digital in terms of a better bandwidth, much richer data set can flow through. So having a great set of data, having that rich experience, reaching into devices through digital, through digital application does allow SMEs to reach out to the customer in a more efficient way. Hence, that will increase their, their own profitability and have a better uh, uh, growth opportunity for uh, small businesses. Now, higher quality data is great, but as with other tech advancements, there is the question on data privacy. And with Web 3.0, what safeguards are specifically needed? It is, a, it is an interesting question. The Web 3.0 is based around much better privacy of data. And it's all about how do individuals have a better control about the ID, their the data. It's much about what peer-to-peer transactions are going to come through. So the, almost the central design and the, uh, and the construct of Web 3.0 is all about yourself as an individual. So, so I, I would assume that a lot of these applications which are going to build on Web 3.0 will have a better privacy, better data protection structure than what we see today. And what other key developments are you expecting to see in the fintech field in the coming years, blockchain obviously being one, and, and how will that contribute to Singapore's economic growth? One thing is for sure that fintech has had a lot of value to the economy because if you look at year over year, uh, this year, the total fintech investment in Singapore over the last three quarters is close to $3 billion. As against the whole year last year, billion plus investment. So three times jump in investment in, uh, in fintech startups in Singapore. More new jobs are getting created. And that's one part. The second part, the infrastructure is going to get better. We have a world-class payment system already built. We are going to see a much more stronger data infrastructure. Also, we'll see a lot of companies who are going to specialize on this on this Web 3.0 stack are going to serve the market around us, especially the growing ASEAN market, the growing Indian market, and also go further down to Africa. A lot of our initiatives are going all the way to Africa, building businesses, small businesses connecting to each other. One of the initiatives and MAS has started called Proxtera is connecting businesses from Asia to Africa. So all this opportunity will come in as part of this whole shift we are making through the Web 3.0 design. So exciting opportunity, more infrastructure, more connected, and much more uh, uh, expansive growth in this space. Well, we look forward to the FinTech Festival next week. That was Sopnandu Mahanti, Chief FinTech Officer of the Monetary Authority of Singapore.